Welcome to MRS Bulletin Society News. My name is Gopal Rao, and I am the Chief Editor for Technical Content at the Materials Research Society and Editor of MRS Bulletin. I'm very pleased to be talking today with Professor Sherry Kagan, the current President of the Materials Research Society, MRS. Professor Kagan is the Stephen J. Angelo Professor at the University of Pennsylvania, affiliated with the Departments of Material Science and Engineering electrical and systems engineering, and chemistry. So Sherry, welcome, and thank you for talking with me today. Thank you, Gopal. Um, material science of, and engineering is, of course, uh, a super discipline that cuts across many different scientific and technological areas. But today we are focusing on a few select merging and important areas in materials research. Uh, that, are get, that are getting a special uh, emphasis from within MRS. So um, MRS now has several groups of experts in these specific areas, helping uh, develop programming and content um, in specific emerging areas of materials research for our meetings and publications. Uh, I was wondering if you could talk about the need for such focus areas. Thank you, Gopal, I'd be happy to. So I just want to share that you know, scientific advances and discovery open new areas of materials research that are important to our community. And at the MRS, we aim to take the lead in emerging areas important to the interests and careers of our community. And so to do this, through, we do this through our broad programming in meetings and publications. And so currently we do have four broad staging areas in artificial intelligence and machine learning, in quantum materials, in biomaterials and in autonomous materials or sometimes referred to as smart or adaptive materials. And at MRS, we are always looking at the field and looking at new topics to, say, to stage and support the future of materials research. So a trend in materials research these days appears uh, to be the need for expertise in more than one discipline. So how can we train materials research researchers to be fluent in multiple or several of the disciplines needed for modern material science? Yeah, cross-disciplinary education has been and continues to grow in importance for both fundamental scientific exploration as well as for technology development. The National Academy, as well as many agencies worldwide have emphasized the importance of convergence research bringing together the expertise, knowledge, and tools of different disciplines. This presents a challenge to learn at the boundaries of materials research, but hopefully one that is also fun. The MRS aspires to support the education of our community through tutorials at our meetings, through webinars and workshops online, and through articles and special issues in our journals. Yeah, MRS is certainly focused on uh, earlier career researchers, especially, so that's very good. Now, artificial intelligence and, and the subgroup of machine learning are becoming increasingly important in materials research uh, and touching many different sub areas. What do you think the future is for artificial intelligence in materials research? Um, and given how increasingly interdisciplinary materials research has become, particularly with regard to data science. Why is MRS the natural hub for this community? Yeah, so Gopal, as you already said, artificial intelligence and machine learning touch most areas of materials research. And it's becoming an important tool in materials discovery from the structure of materials to their properties, and of course, their structure property relationships, and also in process design and manufacturing of materials. And the MRS, really plays a role in that it welcomes broad participation and convenes both computational and experimental researchers to support scientific exchange. It's this exchange that's important for the future of artificial intelligence and machine learning, from developing large and diverse databases to new methods and algorithms, to benchmarking and building trustworthiness, and finally to making these tools usable and interpretable for the materials community. That's very good. We are already seeing many um, symposia proposals that are upcoming MRS meetings in these areas. Uh, so that's very clearly the case. Uh, moving on to quantum materials and 
quite separately, materials for quantum computing. Uh, these are two major areas in material science that are generating much interest. Uh, how do you see research in these areas expanding uh, in the near term? Yeah, so quantum materials such as topological insulators, superconductors, defects in wideband gap semiconductors, just to name a few, continue to gain importance to the broad exploration of quantum information science and engineering. These materials could serve as new platforms, physical platforms to fundamentally explore how to encode, store, manipulate, and collect information, and ultimately have many anticipated applications in not only computation, but also in communication, sensing, and in simulation. Yeah, certainly a lot of exciting work going on in these areas, for sure. Uh, now, MRS's biomaterial staging group has a key focus on bioelectronics, 3D printing of biomaterials, and synthetic biology. So these are important research topics, but there's also the critical immediate focus on materials to help mitigate the current COVID pandemic. Do you see materials research expanding uh, because of this pandemic? So biomaterials is just broadly important to the health and well-being of society. And the importance, of course, has been emphasized by the COVID pandemic. There is much ongoing materials work in supporting the development of better vaccines and drug delivery systems, of new technologies for disease testing, and of better face mask materials and methods to develop antiviral surfaces that really... So autonomous materials, which is our fourth area that incorporates autonomous function in a material device or system, is really uh, exciting and, and really cutting edge, going beyond smart materials and systems. And I wanted to get your thoughts on this emerging area. Yeah, autonomous materials, or as you mentioned, smart or adaptive materials, rely on having multiple functionalities. These materials can sense and respond to signals by altering their characteristics in different chemical or physical domains. Autonomous materials often require new material compositions and structures, structures that could be at different length scales, and that mix physical properties. For example, that mix electronic and magnetic properties. And often these combinations of properties are not common in natural materials. So this topic is really central uh, to what is materials research. So I know that each materials researcher has their own areas of interest. Uh, from your perspective, are there other emerging or hot areas in the broad field of materials? So one area that I like, and maybe this comes with some personal bias as well, is just thinking about materials as they serve as the basis for Internet of Things technologies. And so many of these materials are, are already included in our current staging topics. In fact, I could interpret them as being part of all four of them. But once again, I was thinking more that there's an opportunity to lurk, look and learn about materials from across these boundaries as well. And so materials and their devices are used to support application domains important to many sectors of our society from information and communication to energy and sustainability to security, health, and agriculture. So I think some of these things are exciting to think about and the impact that we can have in materials research. Absolutely, sound very interesting. So on a somewhat different topic and shifting gears a bit, uh, I'd like to touch upon our advocacy of, uh, efforts uh, within MRS. So with the advent of the COVID-19 pandemic, how is MRS interacting with Congress and the and US federal government policymakers? And how successful do you think these efforts have been? Sure, so MRS has been active in meeting with both congressional offices and federal offices. A group of 10 volunteers recently conducted over 20 visits with Capitol Hill offices to advocate for additional funding for domestic research and development funding including supplemental funds and various relief package, packages passed into law. These efforts are important, and we hope we've been contributors to the advocacy that has resulted in increases seen to NSF, DOE, and NIST funding. Those increases are really important and, and very, very exciting. 
Um, and so what are the best ways for MRS members to become involved in federal, federal advocacy of efforts? Sure, well, I invite our community members to get involved and the Government Affairs Committee, who's uh, led by Lucas Sakalakos, is actively seeking new volunteers. So to become involved, just send an email to MRS Director of Government Affairs, Damon Dozier, at dozier, D-O-Z-I-E-R, at mrs.org. Thank you very much, Sherry, for talking with me today about uh, material science and about our advocacy efforts. Thank you, Gopal. Again, my name is Gopal Rao from the Materials Research Society. For more news, please visit the MRS Bulletin website at mrsbulletin.org. You can also follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at MRS Bulletin. Thanks again to Professor Kagan and thank you for listening.